Hi everyone, today I wanted to do another get ready with me listening to classical music uh, video. And today I want to listen to a piece that I haven't actually listened to before. I'm giving my boy Shostakovich another chance. Um, if you know me, you probably know I'm not a big Shostakovich fan, but I'm once in a while I give him another chance and I listen to some of his music so today I want to listen to his violin concerto number one in a minor so let's get started with that um and I'm just gonna do my makeup I actually have a bunch of freckles right now um so I've been wearing a little bit less makeup, trying not to cover them up. I'm gonna start with my brows though. I've actually been using Modern Renaissance palette for my brows, the color Cypress Umber. It's this brown. Ooh. This beginning is very ominous. I don't hate it. So I'm just going to start kind of filling in the gaps in my brows. Drama. See, it's those weird, like, intervals that Shostakovich always does that I'm not a big fan of. I will admit, vibes are off the chart. <laughs> it is very spooky. Not spooky. Ominous, like I said before. Ooh, exposure. It just sounds hard to play. Is Shostakovich in the public domain? Is this a bad idea to be doing this piece? Apparently it's not in the public domain. I guess we will see if they let me upload this. I'm pretty satisfied with this brow, so I'm just gonna kind of set it with some boy brow. I'm pretty bored by this concerto so far. I won't lie. Don't mind my boyfriend coughing. Yeah, I'm happy with that brow. Moving on to my other one. I just can't tell where this is going at all. That's one of the things that kind of bugs me about Shostakovich, which other people probably like, 
but I can never figure out where he's going with his melodies and like themes. I feel like he never has themes. Like, I'm a big Tchaikovsky girl, so as I'm sure you can imagine, I'm a big fan of the like beautiful melodies that come back. Or with Debussy, he'll have like a random beautiful melody in the middle of a piece. <laughs> That's just like, makes the whole piece really good. Tchaikovsky, I feel like, has a, a really catchy, beautiful theme that he brings back over and over and expands upon. In Shostakovich, I can just never figure out what's going on, which makes it like not that fun for me to listen to. But maybe something interesting will happen. We're not that far in. Actually, we're already like five minutes in and nothing interesting has happened in my opinion. These are these are probably some like hot takes. <laughs> I'm pretty satisfied with this brow, so I'm gonna set it with Boy Brow by Glossia, by the way. I'm almost out of it though, so Alright, brows are done. Moving on to concealer. This is where I've been wearing less makeup recently. I've been just kind of placing it under my eyes, trying not to cover my freckles. I've also got this like kind of rash that has formed on my chest today and I don't know what that's about. I don't know if I'll cover it up. It's not really worth it. So I'm just blending this out with the Real Techniques sponge. I don't think beauty blenders are worth the money. And I think I forgot to mention that this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. Okay, we've been on this note for a while. I still am not quite understanding this concerto. Maybe we'll look up some some history. I've heard Shostakovich is better with some cult, like historical context. I personally prefer composers where you don't need the historical context to enjoy it. But wow, we're eight minutes in and I'm still doing concealer. That's We're looking pretty good though, I won't lie. Sometimes you just gotta go slow. Of course, going slow isn't all that entertaining. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, this is definitely interesting. It's still very eerie. Like, it, this whole thing has been really ominous. I'm just gonna set my concealer with the Makeup Forever Loose Translucent Powder.
I don't really set anything except for my under eyes because my skin is on the drier side. So it just kind of looks cakey if I do anywhere else. Um, okay. It's time for blush. I'm using a MAC blush, Desert Rose. I use like the same makeup every day. I only have one blush that I use, if I'm being honest. This piece isn't exactly a get ready with me vibe. That's okay. I put a little blush on my nose these days, just because I think it's cute. If you're pale like me, blush is kind of your best friend. It brings some life into your face without like turning orange. Speaking of which, I'm gonna do some bronzer now. This is uh. Take home the bronze, anti-orange bronzer and all over. I know I probably shouldn't use this brush for this, but I just put it on the edge. It sucks that like every time I look away, the exposure gets all messed up. opinion the most important part of my face makeup aside from covering up the under eyes a bit is kind of cutting out my jaw so I'm taking the NYX total control drop foundation which is very watery by the way you have to be careful with it Is this the end of the first movement? I personally think that was boring, but that's just me. There's those Shostakovich intervals. This just sounds so unnecessarily difficult. I guess I don't hate it though. some highlight and I'm gonna go in with Glossier Haloscope um, Quartz just 
straight on my cheekbones. Tap it in. powder highlight. This is a Becca highlight in pearl. I use, you can see I use it a lot. I'm just going to place that on top. Moving on to eyes. This is certainly still interesting. More exciting than the last one of mine. Oh, but it's so, it's still so Shostakovich, I can't with it. How, how does he manage to sound so circusy? And yet so Russian at the same time. I don't know. It's like a Russian circus. Um, okay. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do brown eyeliner or black eyeliner. I guess why not go dark? So the black liquid highlighter that I use. got a theme here but it's hard to follow you know it's like melodically difficult to follow I can't find my eyeliner well I found the brown one so I guess we're doing brown oh, this is a Mary Kay just like gel eyeliner and brown um, and I just use this tiny little brush. I always start from the outer corner now. And I draw a little line like that, and then I fill it up. what direction the next movement is going to go in. I guess it's growing on me. Like, do I have any interest in learning this though? Absolutely not. This sounds so hard. Like, those are double stops, I imagine. Oh my god, that would be so hard to play.
I imagine if you play Shostakovich out of tune, it loses the whole Shostakovich vibe. Which I guess is probably what people like about Shostakovich. And what I don't like, but you know. To each their own. But this is kind of nice. Oh, weird. It ended with like a major chord. I liked the ending of that. This is the third movement. Very curious what this is gonna be. Oh, I forgot to mention I'm going in with Roller Lash. My benefit. Sounds very military, like militant, is that the word? It would be really bad if I'm not allowed to upload this because of the music. It's not gonna help me like Shostakovich anymore. Well, thus far, very militant, still ominous. Okay, on to lips, which is the last part, and we've still got a decent amount of this left, so maybe I'll break it up into like two parts um, and finish it another day. I also, I really want to do a video like this, but doing like some art or something. Um, not everybody's into makeup. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, tell me in the comments. What do you want to hear me talk about classical music while I do? So, I'm going in with this NYX lip liner in Mauve. And I'm just putting it down here. Oh. This melody is quite nice. So I'm just lining the bottom. And the top. I always overline just slightly because I feel like I have small lips. It's also kind of trendy right now to have less of a Cupid's bow. It's interesting the things that become trends, like a lip shape is a trend. I'm a fan of this movement, this is really pretty. This is so far the only one I wouldn't be terrified to try to learn. And it's really pleasant. All right, so now that I've got that, um, I think I'm gonna go in with my Tarte lip paint and birthday suit if I can locate it. If not, then I'm gonna use my Kylie one again. but I should be able to find it. It's right here. I think I got this as like a birthday gift from Sephora. So it's this tiny little thing and it's, I'm like running out because it's so flattering. Oh yeah, this movement is beautiful. Those octaves are well placed. I imagine this would be really, really hard to play and make it sound nice, though. So I'm gonna go in with my trick that I do for my lips. So 
to making loose translucent powder, another beauty sponge, top top, and just pressing it on there. And it mattifies it, um, makes the overlining of the lips look a little more natural, and it makes it stay in place better. And I'm just going to take some more of my highlighter, just put it on my cupid's bow. I don't know if anybody does that anymore aside from me, but I think I might go back in today and make some freckles, because I'm getting more freckles from the sun, but you still can't see them that great. I'm getting a little bored with this movement. Um, I thought it was really pretty and now I'm like, there's too many double stops and they're not interesting anymore. But I am really liking the harmonic progression. But I just think something else needs to happen now. I could definitely be wrong. Sometimes things like this I have to listen to a couple of times to fully appreciate, so I don't want anybody getting butt hurt. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna take whatever I was just using and I'm gonna just kinda draw over my freckles that already exist. Just make them a little darker. That was a little dark. It always shocks me how much people like Shostakovich. So it's not that I think he's awful. I just can't believe how much people like him. All right. I would say I'm satisfied with this makeup. I'm just gonna set it in place with this NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. It's, I got it recently. Um, I think I like it. I'm just gonna back up a little. And... There. Now everything should look like skin. So, this is the finished look. My hair is still wet, so I'm not gonna style it yet, but we've still got like a decent chunk of this concerto left, so I'm gonna pause it in the middle there and make a part two another time. Thank you for joining me today. Um, let me know if there's any pieces you specifically want me to listen to. Um, it is pretty shocking that I have never heard this violin concerto before. Um, well, not that crazy, if you know me and how much I am not a fan of Shostakovich. But um, I was definitely pleasantly surprised by the end of the second movement and the beginning of the third. So those are my... <laughs> 
comments. Um, I will definitely do this again in the future. Let me know if you like this series. Um, definitely comment something below. Um, I love hearing what people have to say. So on that note, see you soon. Bye.